Well, we have one more round of questions from the candidates to each other. Congresswoman Hanabusa poses the first question, no longer than 30 seconds to ask. Governor Ige, you'll have a minute to respond, and then Congresswoman, a 30-second rebuttal. David, you know, one of the things that became very clear to me is that we have to talk about public safety. Your administration failed to protect public safety. Randall Saito, a murderer, simply walked out of the Hawaii State Hospital. It took eight hours for your administration to alert law enforcement about the es escape. By then, he'd caught a taxi to the airport, boarded two flights, and landed in California with clothes, cash, and fake ID. Why did it take eight hours to say that a murderer has escaped? Um, certainly, that episode um, exposed deficiencies uh, in the state hospital. Uh, as you are very much aware, uh, Colleen, uh, the state hospital wasn't designed as a forensic facility. Uh, it was really uh, designed uh, for mental health, as a mental health hospital. And so it was not designed to uh, contain people. Yes, uh, the episode identified glaring weaknesses uh, in the agency. Um, we, since uh, that escape, we have uh, totally uh, audited uh, the processes. We've uh, implemented action. Uh, we've made sure that the employees uh, receive training on the new protocols that would be required. And we constructed new fences to ensure that we have more and better physical facility of that property um, and you know we continue to make improvements uh, to ensure the health and safety of our community you know there's a disturbing trend your failure of leadership puts lives in danger whether it's 38 minutes or waiting eight hours this particular issue however we came out of a consent decree with the federal government on it before Clayton he in 2014 actually did a study which brought it to light and yet, four years later, nothing was done to address it. The mental hospital is not a new issue, and it's something that I would have thought that would have been front and center for your administration. Thank you, Congresswoman. And Governor Ige, your question for Congresswoman. You know, as governor, I've uh, committed to 100% clean renewable energy. We've protected 40,000 acres of prime watershed. Uh, we've uh, passed uh, community-based subsistence fishing rules and streamlined permit f permitting for restoration of um, traditional um, fish ponds. Uh, Colleen, what have you done to protect our environment, um, the environment of Hawaii? You know, David, one of the interesting things about protecting the environment is that you know, there are many things out there that need protecting. For example, one of the issues that I've been battling since 1999 is the closure of Waimanawa Gulch, which is the sanitary landfill. Now, what your administration has to account for is why is that landfill being allowed to operate without a permit? And it's been doing that for a while. You know that when the big rains came, it put all the, the different kinds of junk in the ocean. And beautiful ocean got all the junk in, whether it was syringes and other things. That was something that we looked at. And that, that place got fined, no question, got fined. But it still is without a permit. So talk about pristine environments, talking about doing these things. Talk about what is fundamental, our trash and protecting our people from that trash. Certainly, I, you know, I'm proud of my record uh, in protecting our environment. The Sustainable Hawaii Initiative is a commitment to the future of Hawaii uh, and being able to turn over an environment that we would want to leave to our children and our children's children. Uh, it really is about leadership, and I'm proud that the Sierra Club uh, recognize my leadership and endorse my candidacy for re-election. Thank you.